All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my greetings and regards for the Tidal Cycles community first. I've been using Tidal Cycles for so long, and I have an ongoing project called Ra. Uh, it's a duo. Where we're making audiovisual experiences. I thought it will be better if I have different channels for different tidal connections, that is to say D1 to D16, which means 16 different channels, and perhaps prefer to mix them in a different environment on a, on a DAW of your choice. Uh, because otherwise, a simple method could be to render things as a stereo from Super Collider's record option. Uh, but I will not recommend that. We have been doing that in the past. All the sounds are needed to be mixed down. Uh, so you cannot do any mixing process. Uh, even the mastering can be sometimes messy with that situation. So, but, but here's my suggestion. Let me start with the Super Collider. So you might have different startup files. Uh, so mine is empty now, but I have established a different setup for this purpose. And I'm going to share you this, this file on the comments section. Um, basically, you can skip all these parts, but since Tidal Cycles is enabling us to use 16 channels, we may also have uh, 16 by it means 16 times to 32 channels, single mono channels. And you can have a bus routing, which is if it is starting from zero, it shouldn't be 32, it should be 30. That is to say having 16 stereo buses that is sent to um, the Mac is enabling you to use the Sunflower. If you do not have an access, I recommend you to download and install. And uh, so this tutorial is meant to be only for the Mac users. Sorry, there might be some ways to uh, come up with a PC solution. And I um, am ready to hear suggestions, but this is a um, tutorial for those who have a Mac platform. So um, I'm going to um, run this patch and uh, wanting to add more I rather use my own samples that's why I have a line as such but um, so the for the title examples you might see some of the, those names so I, it shouldn't trouble you at all you can use your own samples um, but since I also let the yes, to be shown as a meter, here we can see 32 separate uh, mono channels on the Super Collider. So, uh, for an editor of uh, Tidal Cycles, I'm using the code environment. Um, so, every orbit, when you do this setup, every or orbit will correspond to either one of these stereo channels. So that is to say, if I have an orbit zero, which means it's a stereo file routed to the sunflowers uh, channel one and two. Okay, so this is um, routed to sunflower uh, audio channel uh, one and two. Okay, uh, so one will be routed to three and four. And, and it goes on like that. Okay, let's say this is three and four. All right, um, if I were to trigger this, we shouldn't be hearing much at all. The reason is because the, the audio is sent to the sunflower, it's not rooted to our main yet. Um, it also might depend on your DAW preferences, but I will here uh, you to use uh, the Reaper. When you go on to Reaper, 
um, you have to go to the preferences where it says the device setting. The, the input device has to be set to the sunflower. So all the routed signals will be sent to the reaper through the sunflower connection. But if you do not click this, it is very important. It will be impossible for you to hear what you have been doing so far. So when you click on this, the nice thing about Reaper is that it enables to use different output devices. And for the output device, you can choose the built-in output or, or some other um, sound device you might have. It all depends on your uh, hardware setup. So when you have a, a track, uh, when you mount it, uh, arm it with a record button, and you can select its input uh, values. So I'm going to select input one and two. So as soon as I select input one and two, no, it's not the dog barking or the airplane. It's rather the hi-hat. Okay, this hi-hat is sent also let's make the CPS one. The, this hi-hat is coming through the sunflowers channels one and two. Let's also send a kick. Okay, but you're not hearing, but you can see that it's, it's on on the meter. Why? Because we don't have a, a channel dedicated for that. If I were to arm this and then as a stereo file, if I select three and four, here's the kick channel. So here's the channel that corresponds to the kick and here is the hi-hat. Okay, let's make it something rather not bothering. Um, so the procedure is easy. The rest is easy. So you have to choose this but the stereo setting should be, it's not four and five. If one, two, three, four, the five, six is the next. There you go. Okay. So it's procedural. I'm not gonna go follow up to D16, but just to prove that D16 is sent through the orbit 15, let me also open another uh, track for you and arm this as, what will it be? Will it be 31 and 32? I guess it is. What is this? Let me, let me, let me, let me go and solo this. Is this this track? Yes, it is. So now I can, also make a recording of it. So as soon as I feel like I'm done, I can either hush it here or I can stop it in here. Now you have a multi-track um, channel where in your DAW you can do your uh, mixing and mastering. So thank you.